911, what is the location of your emergency? It's Monday, February 24th. There's a crisis at the home of Sarah Boone prompting her to call 911. Is this a police or medical? My boyfriend is dead. You can send the line for the fire department. Do not hang up. The fire department takes over the call. And for the next few minutes, officials are obtaining critical details about what happened. Now tell me exactly what happened there. Uh, my boyfriend and I were playing last night, and mm -hmm. I put him in a case when we were playing. And okay. Like kind of hide and seek kind of thing. So I fell asleep, and I woke up, and he was dead in the suitcase. So I don't know what happened. Okay, is he hanging from somewhere or what, ma'am? No, I pulled him out of the suitcase. I tried giving him CPR. Fire and Rescue instruct Boone on how to give chest compressions. Just keep on pumping. That's all you need to do for me. Keep on pumping his chest for me. That's, I don't need you to stop and talk or anything. I just want you to count out loud for me, okay? 31. 32. Please hurry. Okay, man, they're getting there as fast as they can, okay? He's deaf and he's purple. EMS arrived within minutes and advised Boone that her boyfriend, Jorge Torres, had been down too long and there was nothing more they could do. Boone explained she and Torres were drinking the night before and thought it would be funny if he got inside of a suitcase for a game of hide-and-seek. The next day, deputies returned and arrested Boone and charged her with second-degree murder in Torres' death. Boone's story about a childhood game gone awry unraveled when investigators say they found video on her cell phone showing Boone taunting and laughing at Torres while he was struggling to get out of the suitcase. Police say he was yelling he couldn't breathe and asking Boone for help. According to police, Boone was captured on video saying, that's what I feel like when you cheat on me. When confronted with the video, officers say she told them she didn't remember those moments. But to investigators, those moments add up to motive for second degree murder. All right, let's bring back in our think tank. And, and here's the question I have for you. I mean, it's an extremely tragic uh, story for Jorge Torres. I mean, he was tortured inside that suitcase. Uh, couldn't get out. Knew he couldn't breathe. Um, but what's going to be the best defense here for Sarah Boone? I mean, is it that she was a battered woman, that she blacked out and, and was drunk and didn't know what was going on, um, that all this was an accident? Michael Sterling. It, I, I mean, I'll be candid, Vinny, it's hard to tell without having all of the discovery, but <laughs> I would say her pr probably the best defense is going to be that he voluntarily got into the suitcase because that appears to be the case. So then the question becomes, if he voluntarily got into the suitcase, did she actually accidentally fall asleep and leave him in the suitcase? Right. Or was she actually torturing him to the point where she knew he was suffocating? She knew he was dying. But I think I think really probably based on what I know about this case, the best defense is going to be that he voluntarily got in the suitcase. She didn't force him in. There's no if you if there's no defensive wounds, if there's nothing that demonstrates that she somehow overcame his will and put him in a suitcase, if he voluntarily got in there. Then the question becomes, what happened after that? And that might be her best defense. Al? Uh, maybe it was a Samson Knight, Vinny? Think of it that way. I mean, this is the kind of a case that you just kind of sit there and just go, how is this humanly possible that she would come up with the story about hide and seek? Sort of a horrible place to hide in the first place. And sort of obvious. And two... The situation with regards to the fact that she videotaped it and has him crying out that he can't breathe and that you can see the um, he's kicking inside the, the suitcase trying to get out. It's, it's just a horrendous thing. I don't know. The, the only thing she could possibly say is that she was intoxicated. She fell asleep and she didn't think that, you know, you would lose oxygen in a suitcase. Um uh, that's about the best I think I could come up with with regards to same. It was a joke. It was I was playing a joke. It was not meant to be a uh, second degree murder. It wasn't meant to be premeditated. It was at at the most reckless manslaughter. And Bremner, what do you, what do you think they're 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 gonna what card do they play here in all of this? I guess all of what we've just heard, all of the above, and I agree with Michael too on his comments specifically, but. 
It, it's a horrible case. I thought of that Sarah Evans song, you know, you should have thought about this when you were cheating, like all kinds of country western songs come to mind. I mean, that's horrible that she's saying, you know, you cheated on me, I'm not going to let you out. You know, she goes over and over again. You know, the, the only way I think in defending this additionally to what's been stated is you try and get that tape out, get the video out somehow. I don't know how. Um, because she's she's just not sitting pretty on this one. She's got a very, very tough case. And we all know intoxication usually isn't a defense. Falling asleep, maybe, but intoxication, probably not. All right, let's check the uh, schedule here for Florida versus Sarah Boone. Right now, trial date July 26th coming up just around the corner, folks. We'll keep you up to date.